Hey everybody, happy Thanksgiving. I'm gonna show you my, my macaroni and cheese recipe, the best ever. Um, I've gotten compliments on it the past two years and my aunt wanted me to make it again because I was gonna just make the simple, um, you know, the box macaroni and just keep it in a crock pot. Um, and then make something else but since she wants to see my recipe kind of uh, macaroni I'm going to go the little bit of an extra mile and make it and not make the other because it kind of it cost a lot it was like at least $30 I got a few other things so it was like 40 something but I think um, this is a feed like I don't know how many people but I know it'll be more than enough uh, for the group that we're having. We're having like 15 people over. So, yeah, hopefully we'll have leftovers because I'm, I'm like tripling the recipe. So I'll just go ahead and start sharing with you how I make it. So this is, I'm sorry I'm shaking. I had a lot of coffee this morning like I always do. Um, this is where I kept it. I wrote it down. It's the best macaroni and cheese ever. Um, since I'm tripling the recipe, this is what it is for triple the recipe. Um, so I get one and a half boxes of, let's see if I can pronounce this right, um, mustachioli, um, six tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons of garlic, no, sorry, three teaspoons of garlic, three teaspoons of onion powder, six cups of milk, three-fourths cup of all-purpose flour, 18 cups of sharp, sharp cheddar cheese, six cups of panko breadcrumbs, and one and a half cup of butter melted. And here's my stuff. I bought most of it yesterday at Walmart, and oh my gosh, was it such a pain in the butt. It literally took me an hour just to get this few little things because of the line and stuff. And I've already started boiling my water for the pasta. Right, step one is to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Do, do, All right, I'm no professional cooker, that's for sure. But this water was boiling before I put the pasta in there, but yeah. I boil the water and then I put some salt in there and then I put the pasta in there. It's supposed to cook for 10 minutes, so that's what I did. And now the next step is to add some butter and garlic. Alright, so all I did was add my 6 tablespoons of butter and my 3 teaspoons of garlic. And now I will be... Um, letting it melt and uh, letting the garlic get soft. I'll probably leave it on here for two minutes and just stir in occasionally as my pasta is still cooking. Y'all, this is so funny. I just made a huge mess and I somewhat try to clean it up. <laughs> but yeah, so I added, what did I add? Um, I added my um, onion powder, three teaspoons of onion powder, six cups of milk, and a third cup of all-purpose flour. And now I am whisking it. Y'all, I am not a cook. Um, Michael has one room in the house to clean. And it is the kitchen. And girl, this is not what it looked like when I started. I'm just saying. I cleaned it before I started cooking. Um, so, he better not care that I made a little mess. Because I cleaned up a whole lot more than my mess is. Which I'm going to somewhat clean it up afterwards in my So I don't have to hear him complain. In my... My pasta is boiling. I think it's pretty much done. 
so I'm probably just going to cut it off and still stir as I go. But yeah, you just keep whisking until it um, gets a little thicker. By the way, do you like my Thanksgiving outfit? Or my hair is going to be down. I just put it up so I could cook the macaroni because I always... If I don't put it up, I always have a very long strand somewhere. But yeah, so here's my shirt. I got this at Sam's Club. It like has that little sleeve and looks kind of like a scarf, but not. I don't even know what you call this, a cowl neck or something. I don't know. Little tassel thing and it goes past my booty and my crotch and it's got pockets. And then I have my Stitch Fix jeans with flower on them. <laughs> um, yeah, and they're olive green, so. Alright, I just wanted to share that with you real quick while I was waiting on the sauce to thicken up. Alright, I'll talk to you in a minute. Bye! Alright, my sauce thickened up. And now it's time to add half the cheese into this and let it melt and then I can go to the next step all right so this is my cheese mixture nice thick beautiful now I'm going to add a little salt and pepper to taste I don't have any measurements for this I just kind of just add some Alright, so now what I did is I strained the pasta and threw it in with the cheese mixture, which I kind of did the opposite because this is the bitter, bigger pot. So as you can tell, it's going to be very cheesy and it's soaked in goodness. And so I'm just going to mix that real quick and I'll be back with the next step. A life saver for new... Um, Housewives, I guess, or whatever, um, is to, like, if you have this cheesy mixture all over the side of some hard to clean pots, all you have to do is push, uh, put some detergent in there and throw it back on high and enough time for it to start boiling and then empty it and it is a lot more easy to clean. Even if you got, like, you accidentally burnt something and there's like a coating on the bottom that's really tough to get off almost impossible to get off if you was trying to scrub it this takes it right off all right okay so the next step was to spoon your cheese mixture and well actually add the remaining cheese that you had um, to the mixture that was in the bowl um, and stir that in that was a really big workout by the way sucked it was hard i'm out of breath now and then you were supposed to spoon it into a baking dish and that's what i did i'm so glad that um we bought these at sam's like a year ago and i just had them in the pantry because i would be in trouble right now if i didn't have this because this made a lot more than i thought it was so yeah we're probably gonna eat maybe half of this <laughs> today but whatever we'll have the leftovers like a lot <laughs> Well, this sucks because what I just noticed is if, okay, so I was supposed to use um, a cup and a half of butter with this triple the recipe thing and six cups of breadcrumbs. Well, guess what? I only got eight ounces. So, and on top of that, it's Italian style, but whatever. <laughs> I'm sure it'll taste good anyways, and you're going to get to see what, what it looks like what it looks like um, before I bake it. It looks good even though I made that a bunch of little mistakes or some big. <laughs> and now all I have to do is stick it in the oven and cook it for like 20-25 minutes or until the top is golden, blah, 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 golden brown. Alright this is what it looks like afterwards. I can tell that it kind of sizzled this part a little bit more just a little bit more than over here but as you can tell I tasted it it tastes really good so yeah 
Um, I will leave a description below saying the smaller measurements and ingredients. I just did my own little term because of some things was uh, out of stock at Walmart because I did go the night before Thanksgiving to Walmart and they was out of stuff. And um, also um, I did triple the recipe. So, but I'll link the smaller recipe down below for y'all. And yeah. Um, I might share a little bit more at my mama's house. I'm not really knowing how I'm feeling about that yet just because I don't know if I want to film in front of people yet. Alright, so I'm fixing to go to my mama's. The girls are in. I locked my door. I'm ready. I'm just going to let my hair down after I get in with all that macaroni. Alright, talk to y'all later. Happy Thanksgiving! Hey Glenn! Hey Elena! Hey Sunny! Hey! <laughs> Mama, happy Thanksgiving! Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody! Happy Thanksgiving, Valerie! I hope you liked my Thanksgiving. I enjoyed sharing it with y'all. What my love? What? What my love? Leave me alone for a second. <laughs> God, really? Seriously? Yeah. Okay. I hope y'all enjoyed my Thanksgiving, and I hope y'all um, subscribe, comment, like, all that good stuff, and join my happy YouTube family and friends. Um, yeah, I'll talk to y'all next time. Love y'all. Bye.